Hey, what's up everybody? Greg here uh, in Colorado on a little trail. Just wanted to uh, show you a little obstacle that I came across here on the main road. It's probably a good uh, 50 foot tree, 60 foot tree blocking the road. I'm gonna use the, my Chevy Bison here. I got the Come Up DV uh, 9S. 9,000 pound winch with the uh, Pro Link Factor 55 and my tree saver is just uh, Gear America, nothing, uh, nothing special there. And I'm gonna use the 20 inch Factor 55 soft shackle. What to really consider when you're setting this up is where do you want the tree to go? Again. If I was parked, just stayed in the middle of the road, well, I'd be pulling the tree towards the middle of the road. I'd be pulling the tree towards me. But as you can see here, the bulk heavy part of the tree is off to the left. And so I'm gonna probably anchor probably just in front of there. It's definitely too brittle there. If I start pulling on more towards the top of the tree, this piece here, I definitely think I'll break probably only six to 10 inch dbh so i'm gonna try and hit it right in here where it's probably about 16 inch dbh it's a pretty good size tree it probably gets to a good 20 inches down there um so anyways i'm gonna pull it towards my truck and so i've parked off to the side side of the road um and that's gonna hopefully swing the tree but it's gonna pull it towards the off side of the road um I'd love to be able to buck and limb this tree. If I had a saw on me, I didn't bring my saw, my trail saw with me on this trip, but saw it and felt like I could probably uh, alleviate this obstacle in the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I'll give it one more coverage and then uh, we'll get set up and start seeing if we can uh, pull this tree out of the way. Okay, so I've pulled out my winch line. I think one important thing I need to take care of is all this debris down here. I don't want any friction or any of these dead branches rubbing up against my synthetic rope. So I'm gonna go ahead and take time to really give me a nice clear path uh, on there. Find a good solid area right in this junction, probably right in there. The church saver around the tree. This is probably looks like a good 14 to 16 inches here. And when I do the soft shackle, one thing that I like to do is I'm gonna double wrap that. So I'm gonna go around this twice and improve on my strength there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, a damper with me. Tree saver setup. One important thing is just to make sure it's not kinked or twisted around the tree. Again, I've cleared this area out. I'm gonna use the 20 inch uh, Factor 55 soft shackle. What I did was I doubled it up, so I went around and coiled it two times, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the Pro Link here, like such. So I'll go ahead and get that set up. Once I get it um, completely set up and mounted, pull up the slack, get my control plugged in. I do have the wireless, I haven't set that up. That's something to do here in the future. But I'll go ahead and set up even a tripod and, and try and do a time lapse of, of, the, of pulling in this tree. And again, just nice and slow, get some tension on it, just see if we're gonna start being able to move it and hopefully we'll swing it out of the road here. So here we go, uh, definitely push that tree out of the, the road. If you can remember, it was actually coming across to those rocks. So definitely cleared, gosh, at least probably 25 feet of road. And uh, that's, uh, you know, it probably took me 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, how to push some of the sticks out of the way. To clear the road but uh, I think it's worth it I think it's definitely uh, 
our part is in the enthusiasts that love uh, being outdoors, taking a little time, doing our part to keep our trails open. Everybody have a good one.